And for the very latest, we are now joined by our correspondent Isan Kivani in Tehran. Hello, Isan. So, what's the latest on the attack? Well, as you mentioned, unfortunately, uh, we don't have anything more than that, according to an announcement coming from uh, the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps or the IRGC in the early hours of Wednesday. Uh, Hamas leader, political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniyeh, was assassinated uh, at his residence in the north of Tehran together with his uh, bodyguard. Uh, According to the IRGC announcement, more investigation is on their way, but initially they accuse uh, Israeli agents in Iran for the assassination. Uh, Ismail Haniyeh frequently travels to Tehran uh, to visit uh, uh, Iranian high officials, high-ranking officials, and uh, uh, he always uh, stays in, in, in the residence of Hamas building in the north of Tehran. And uh, we will have uh, more updates from the IRGC if uh, new announcements uh, uh, would come. Back to you. Well, any updates on uh, Iran's investigation, the assassination? Uh, well, as I said, unfortunately, uh, the IRGC has not issued anything uh, beyond uh, the initial announcements. Uh, the only thing we have so far is the accusation that says... Uh, Israeli agents uh, have, have performed the assassination uh, so far. Yesterday, uh, Ismail Haniyeh met with the Supreme Leader of Iran, Ayatollah Khamenei, as you mentioned, and he also attended the inauguration ceremony. But in the early hours of Wednesday, the ass assassination took place in uh, Tehran, unfortunately. Well, just tell us more about uh, the Hamas leader, Ismail Haniyeh himself. Well, uh, the 62-year Ismail Haniyeh was a charismatic figure of Hamas and since 2019, uh, when he left the Gaza Strip, uh, uh, he had been living in a kind of exile in uh, Qatar as one of uh, the serious supporters of uh, Hamas. Uh, as I said, uh, Ismail Haniyeh frequently traveled to Iran maybe four or five times for different uh, uh, ceremonies and uh, he always met with the supreme leader of Iran as his fixed uh, uh, plans in Tehran also with uh, different pre presidents and high-ranking officials and commanders of the IR, uh, IRGC and so far there have been no uh, security issues in his trips to Iran uh, but unfortunately uh, this happened in the early hours of Wednesday and uh, some analysts in Iran believe that it's a kind of security breach and uh, the IRGC uh, should be uh, responsible for such lack of security uh, measures in, in Tehran. Back to you.